Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. This is Amit. In this video, we are going to talk about field level security. So as we know that we can control the field level security either from profile or permission set. Let's quickly see how, how Salesforce checks the field level security behind the scene. You have access to Salesforce record and now you are trying to access a field call, uh, called XYZ. First thing that Salesforce will check is, do you have FLS, which is field level security access at uh, profile level for that object? If that is yes, Salesforce is again going to see if the field is added to that particular page layout. If that is yes, that means you have access to that field and you can uh, see that access and based on the access label at field, you can either edit or read that field. And if the answer is no for added the page layout, it is again going to check if the field is added into an inline via page or a lightning component. If that is S, then again you are going to see the field. So if the field is not added into the layout, but the, but the field is added into the via page and that via page is added into that page layout, then again you are going to see that particular field. If the permission at profile level is not provided for the field, it is going to check if there are any extra permission set for that user. If that is not the case, field is hidden, that user cannot see the field. If, the field, if that is the case, that means the permission is provided to the user, then again it is going to perform these two checks which are either field is added to the page layout. If not, then it is again going to check if field is added into the VA page or lightning component and if any of these cases is true then again field is accessible to the user now let's quickly see in this directly before we go ahead i just uh, if you have not subscribed to the youtube uh, the channel which is sfdc panther go ahead and subscribe this and then click on this bell icon uh, to get all the updates related to this channel now first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a new field on our account object and that field we are going not going to provide any access to that particular field so let's quickly create a text field here and i will name that field as external id and uh, yep this is a quick our field and the length you can provide as per your convenience i'm just putting 100 as here and then click on next and now it is asking where we wanted to which profile we wanted to give the access so i'm going to remove the access from each and every profile because for the first we are going to perform the check at a profile level add that field to the page layout for now and then save it so we have created a field which is called as external id we have not provided to we have not provided field level access to a particular profile not even a single profile inside our salesforce environment and if we try to find here external id there is no field for us now if you quickly go ahead and find that field again so here is the field that we have created open this field and after opening this field if you click on this set field level security from here we can provide the access to the profile which we want now i'm going to select visible for all these profiles okay click on save and once we have saved this record, we are again, I'm oh, sorry, the field level security, we are again going to refresh this. And as soon as we'll refresh, we will able to see that particular field, which is external ID, right? Now, if we try to remove this field from the page layout, again, the user will not be able to see that field. And that is what we have said here. If we go ahead and remove this field, which is external ID and quickly save this record, uh, save this page layout. And once this will be saved, again we will not be able to see that field which is external id now if we again get, go ahead to our particular field and remove the field level security so we are going to remove that field level security from here and then we are going to create a permission set which will assign which will give the permission to this particular field only so we'll quickly go to search box go to permission sets and then from the permission set if you have followed all the tutorials there is one permission set which is called error log we are going to use this permission set give the additional permission to that field for that we have to go to object settings 
and from the object settings we need to select our object which is accounts so select this object accounts and under this object we have to give the edit permission to that field so let's quickly edit this now let's find our field we just need to give the permission to our field that's it now we have to give both access it is saying edit and read so we need to give the access both and we'll click on save it we will save it so we have given we have removed the access from this field which is field label and again if you go to page layout and try to add that field and then we will still not be able to see that field because the field level security is not enabled for that particular field let's quickly save this and see if that's the case so that field is still not available why because we have provided the permission at permission set label but we have not assigned this permission to the user so we will quickly go to manage assignments click on add assignments and then select the user which we are logged in with so this is the user which i am logged in i'm seeing and then i'm going to assign this now i have assigned this click on done so we have got two users over here go back to your page and refresh you are here you can see your field right now one thing that i'll do is i'll quickly delete this assignment okay because i wanted to show you one thing i'm i have just deleted that assignment and if i will refresh this page again i will not be able to see that field now go back to your field which is this click on set field level security and this time i am going to select read only for all these fields that's that means this field is read only it will be visible but i will not be able to edit that field so let's do that we have done this let's refresh this page and this field is here which is external id but if you see here i can uh, i can still edit that field the reason behind that is if you go to profiles under the profiles we need to go to system admin profile because i am logged in as user whose profile is system admin so i will quickly go to system admin profile and then what i will do is i will show you one permission which enables you or which enables system admin or any other profile if that if that permission is enabled can edit the read only field so the permission is edit read only fields if this permission is enabled at a profile level user with that profile can edit the read only field except formula field users cannot edit formula fields but every other field which is read only no matter from where if uh, that field has been made read only from the field level security or the field has been made read only from the page layout the user will be able to edit so that is again a interview question where sometimes interviewer ask there is a read only field which they have made from both field level security and page layout as well but the user is still able to edit that field what could be the reason so this is the reason where if this permission is enabled at either profile level or permission set level so now let's quickly go ahead and edit this page layout and remove this field now we are going to talk about that via page we will create a via page and then add that field here so let's quickly save this here so we will not be able to see that field now uh, if even the permission for that field is enabled we will quickly go to pages and create a visual force page so we'll click on new and we will name it as uh, the simple page we can just name it as any name whatever you want okay so it is taking some time let's wait yep so what we can what we can do is we will say we want to have is uh, let's quickly say external id and then in the top via page what you need to do is for apex colon page you need to use one standard controller and then put account because our field is under account object 
and now what we will use is we will say apex colon form and then under we will use apex colon output field and for that output field we will say value and which field we want we want account external id so this is the field which we want and we are going to quickly save this so this view page has been saved now again we will what we will do is we will go to account layout and then we will quickly edit our visual force page so what for that what we need to do is just scroll down and find visual force pages and this is the page that we have and then we can just drag and drop the visual force page over here like what we did and then now we have drag and dropped click on this wrench icon because the size of visual force page is too large and then you can just uh, say 20 px and then you can just say so scroll bar if needed now the size looks okay for us and then we are going to save this now what we will be able to do is we again okay let's see if that uh, it is not visible to us let's quickly again do edit that page layout and uh, this time i'm going to make that uh, width as 100 so that i should be able to see here so i'll say save so we are not able to see that field the reason is let's quickly edit any account page first uh, first of all what we will do is we will edit just to show you this how that field will be displaying on the VF page I'm going to add that field from this here so that we can add a value in that field okay we have got this that is correct I'm going to add that value here and I will say 451 that value is still yep it is coming here you can see the value is coming as 451 but now we are not able to see the label which is external id so for that what we can do is we can quickly go and edit this field and then we can just say here uh, we can use here we can say external id and then quickly save this as soon as we will save it after refreshing this we will be able to see that uh, external id which is saying that 451 and then to provide the space over here we can just use some html code which is ampersand nbsp which is again going to provide you the space over here so you can just uh, now you will be able to see here you can see 451 and then you can go ahead and then edit this whatever you want so you can just quickly go there and then remove this field save it so yep this is how you can control your field level security and uh, this is uh, these are the various ways so if you are in salesforce lightning you can just add uh, uh, you can also use visual force base but you can uh, as the salesforce lightning is always uh, uh, we wanted to use salesforce uh, lightning component so better to use that lightning component instead of uh, visual force base thank you